This is what we're going to be creating, a reusable accordion component from Daisy UI in Vue.js. All the code to do this is going to be found on codinggoblin.com. Link will be in the description. So first thing we're going to do is go onto the accordion in Daisy UI, and we're just going to pick one. This one will do, so it's nice. And we're just going to copy the HTML. And now we're going to go to our Vue.js project. This is Nuxt, but the same principles apply for any Vue.js. So we're going to create a new component called Accordion. And we need to add a template tag. And then we're just going to paste that code from Daisy UI into our Accordion component between the template tags. Now, because we want to make this reusable, we need to pass some props to it. So let's add a script tag here. I'm going to say const props equals define props. And if we have a look at the structure of this accordion, we can see each part of it. That's one part. So it's got a, oh, so it's got a title and the content. So we're just going to pass an array with objects and each object is going to have a title and a content part. We can name them whatever they want. And it's going to be, it's basically, it's going to be two strings. So the title and the content. So it's going to be an array and we're going to call this array accordion data. And it's an array. Oh, so. Now we just want to create a loop that's going to loop over this array that we passed to it from the parent component, and it's going to output the data from the array. So we just need to use the structure of one of these accordion parts. So we're going to use that. So what we'll do is add a template tag. We're going to say v4 equals data in accordion data. So we're going to loop over that array that we're going to pass. And in that, we're going to add that. So I'm going to cut that, paste it. So we can delete the rest of this now. We don't need that. And let's just tidy this up a little bit. And we're going to replace these strings here with data dot. We'll call this title. And then we're going to replace that one content. Save that. So we're going to have to create title and content on each object in our accordion data array that we're going to pass. So let's go to the page. So this will be the parent component. So if we include this accordion, and we're going to pass it our accordion data array, which doesn't exist yet, but we're going to create it down here. So now we come down here and say accordion data direct, uh, accordion data even equals an array, and then we're going to have an object with the title. So this is going to be title and content. Save that. And now if we go to our website, we can see we've got it there. And we've only got one accordion item. So let's add some more and we'll see them displayed. So the title two, the content two, the title three, content three. Save that. And now we've got our accordion working. So that is how you create a reusable Daisy UI accordion component for Vue.js.